Hi everyone and happy Burns Night! Yes, I'm recording this cocktail video for the Scottish celebration Burns Night or Burns Day or Rabbi Burns Night or whatever. Uh, whether you celebrate it or not, I think it's a fantastic opportunity every year to make a Scottish inspired cocktail. And the cocktail that I'm going to make today I feel is quite Scottishy, so that's why I'm making it. It's the Athol Bros. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not sure if I am. It's a, it's a recipe from the good old Differs Guide yet again. I was flicking through it and um, not in mind to make something for Burns Night, but when I saw it I was like, oh that's actually, that sounds quite Scottishy to me. The reasons being is it's a Scotch whiskey cocktail, so that's already like tick, you know, quite Scottishy. Um, so it's got that in it and it has some oat milk in it, so oats, you know, is Scottish as well in my opinion, so I thought that goes quite well and I love a cocktail with oat milk. I haven't made one for ages and I actually haven't made this cocktail yet but I think I'm really going to enjoy it because I love an oat milk cocktail. Uh, and we also have some Drambuie in there as well. Now I hope that Drambuie doesn't go off because this bottle is very old and very dusty and I haven't used it in a very very long time. I actually had a little sip of it and it tasted fine to be fair but um, I was a bit dubious when I found it at the back of the cupboard. I was like yes I actually have Drambuie, I don't need to buy any. Um, yeah it also has honey in it and amaretto and single cream so it's going to be it's going to be good it's going to be interesting i'm really excited to make this one for you today so let's get on with the the athol brosy if that's even how you pronounce it i have no idea what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by squeezing a little bit of honey into my shaker that should be about two teaspoons I'm just going to do that if I put it on a teaspoon, it'll take forever to run off. Then I'm going to add 40 ml of the Scotch whiskey and then we're just going to give it sort of a little bit of a, a stir to dissolve it. So 40 ml goes in here. I actually forgot to buy haggis for Burns Night, which is a first. I think we always have haggis on Burns Night. And I've completely forgot. I think we're having pasta or something. I don't know, or something. I'm very Scottish. Um, okay, so. Again, this isn't just for my Scottish followers, obviously. I have, hopefully, people from America watching this and places in Europe. So, um, yeah, for people that don't know, Robbie Burns Night is just a Scottish holiday where we celebrate the famous Scottish poet, Robbie Burns. And yeah, it's just a ta chance to drink whiskey and to eat haggis. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun little traditional holiday here in Scotland. So, giving that a bit of a mix, a bit of a dissolve. I'll obviously dissolve a lot more once we start shaking it and put everything else in there. I'm going to do next 30 ml of oat milk. Again, like I said, I absolutely adore oat milk in cocktails. I think it's fabulous. Then the recipe is just a very small amount of Drambu and Amaretto, so it's just 5 mil. Now I am rubbish at the measurements, I'm really not very good at measurements at all, I just fling it all in, so I'm definitely not going to be as precise as 5 mil, I can tell you that right now. It's probably going to be closer to 10 mil. And also the jigger, it's hard, it really is hard to measure that, that amount in a jigger, so yeah. Just stick it all in if you're making this at home. So I usually do. This channel has made me a little bit, little bit more disciplined, tiny bit more, but not, not much really. I just shove it all in. Okay, and then just 10 ml of cream. That's probably more 15, but never mind. I already love the colour. I love a muted sort of pastel-y, creamy colour for a cocktail. I think it's, that's great. Okay, that's all the ingredients in there. I'm going to add ice. And then give it a bit of a shake. I definitely smell, I don't know whether it's the, the whiskey that I smell or the Drambuie, because they're quite similar. Um, but I can definitely smell some similar aroma to that kind of hitting my nostrils there. That will do. That looks like it's all, looks like a lovely milkshake. Yummy. Okay, my glass here. I'm going to pour this beautiful cocktail in here. It smells a bit like Bailey's as well. That's what you always get though when you have a, a cream and a whiskey cocktail, isn't it? You're like, oh, it's like a fancy Bailey's. There we go. That's my Athol Bros cocktail. And to garnish, you need a bit of, of uh, shortbread on the side, surely. 
These are actually chonkers. I didn't realise how <laughs> thick they were when I bought them. <laughs> Definitely not homemade. Uh, there we go, guys. That is my cocktail. I'm going to have to take this back off because I want to taste it now. So that was silly. All that effort. Okay. Oh, yummy. Oh, that's so good and creamy and spicy. Because it's a I oh, love that. I don't know why I haven't opened this for a while because I, it's so good. It's really good. Um... Yeah, I'm getting kind of nutty flavours coming from the amaretto, the almonds and the oat milk. I'm getting that, the sweetness from the honey. The cream just sort of melts all out and makes it a little bit sort of more indulgent. And uh, yeah, definitely the whiskey and the drambu is coming through beautifully. That is a really well-balanced, really gorgeous cocktail, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Um, try it yourself at home if you have, you know, these are things that people are probably going to have at the back of the cupboard and have forgotten about, like me, dusty. Drambu, Scotch whiskey, amaretto, which is... In a whiskey decanter, I am aware of this. This is where I keep my amaretto. <laughs> um, but people have that at home. So yeah, give it a bash and you're definitely not going to regret it. Uh, thanks for watching me as always and happy Burns Night if you're celebrating. Happy Burns Night if you're not. And uh, I'll see you next time on the Bar Home Bar. Cheers.